Are you tired of spending hours uploading your print-on-demand designs to Printify? Well, so was I until I figured out how to bulk upload them. Here is my Canva file with 20 designs, and here's my Printify store with all my products made. It literally took me five minutes to do this, so I'm going to show you how to do the same exact thing. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michelle, a multi six figure Etsy seller who's been in the print on demand world for a few years now. I wanted to share what's been working for me, the honest behind the scenes stuff that's helped me grow my Etsy shop sustainably. Today we're diving into how to bulk upload your product designs to Printify for your Etsy print on demand store using a new tool I found. No, this isn't sponsored. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. This is simply how I upload my products to Printify now. So before we can begin bulk uploading to Printify, we have to make a product template that we will put all of the designs on. So for my product template, I want to make one for the product that I want to put all of my designs on, which is the Comper Colors 1717 t-shirt. So I'm just going to look for that in my Printify catalog. And then I always choose Printify Choice. So I'm going to click on Start Designing. And then from there, I'm going to select the colors that I want all of my products to have. So I usually do pepper, black, red, espresso, usually like an orange color, a couple of green colors, and a couple of blue colors. And then once I have all of my items or colors selected, I will move over to text. So I'm going to just add text to the front of the shirt. Now you can put the text anywhere. The text is just a placeholder so that we can actually save the product on Printify because if there's nothing on the shirt, it won't let us save the product. So I'm just going to put some text on the front of the shirt that says template and when we bulk upload our products all of this text will be essentially removed and then our design will go on the shirt so this text won't show up on any of the products that I upload so I'm going to click save product and then from there I can choose any mock-ups that I want to have but it all looks good to me. So I'm just going to select save. And then from there, I'm going to call it comfort colors 1717 template. And you can choose any colors you want. You can choose any title you want. This is all up to you for your own store. I'm just showing you how I have done it and use this tool. So you can edit this description if you buddy any tags prices, shipping options. I always choose economy as an option so that my buyers on Etsy can choose if they want a cheaper or a more quick shipping option. And then if you have free shipping, you can do that. You can change any prices, anything. This is just where you can edit your product template so that any of the designs you upload will have all of the same things that are in this template. So I usually select hide and store just that way I can upload my mockups to Etsy before they are published in my store. And then from there, I'm going to click on publish. So now I'm going to go over to this website called boostprint.io and then I'll click on the product template section. So before we can begin bulk uploading, we have to add in our product template from Printify. So I'm going to press add template and then browse my products from Printify. And this will show me all my products from Printify. And then I'll go ahead and select that item that I just made, which is the product template. And then click save. So once you have your item there, you can double check and make sure that it's the same item you just made on Printify. The template that you have on your list of product templates is the same one that you want to make essentially copies for with your new designs. So once I have that, I can select upload designs or go to the product uploader. And then from there, I'll select my 
product templates, which is just the one that I just made for Comfort Colors. Now you can do any product you want for this uploader, which I found. And then from there, it will let you select the print areas that you want to upload for. So if you want to upload 20 designs, which is what I do at a time, you can select one print area and then upload multiple designs. But if you select two print areas, it will let you only do one at a time. Just that way it keeps everything in order so that the design you want on the front and the back at the same time is kept in order. So because I want to bulk upload, I'm going to do the front. Now this shows you the print area size. So just make sure that your Canva design file is the same exact size as the print area on the shirt. So that way your graphic that you want to put on the shirt is put in the right spot. If it is smaller, Boost Print, I think lets you know, but I always just try to make sure that my design files on Canva and the page size is the exact pixel size of the print area from Printify. So from there, I have my designs in Canva for Christmas that I'm uploading and I'm going to select download and then always do the transparent background and then I will upload my files to Boost Print. So once I have my product designs uploaded, I can see a list here of all of the designs and then once I think they all look good I will press select all or you can do them one at a time but I always just do select all and then just press publish and it uploads now this process takes a few minutes of course it can't be instant when uploading pictures and things I think but I found that this is still much much faster than using or just uploading them myself to my Printify store so I'll come back once all of these are uploaded to Printify and then I can show you how it looks with all my products that I just made. All right, so once all of the designs have been uploaded to Printify, I see that there aren't any designs left. So I know that they, all of the designs have been uploaded. So once I go over to my Printify store and I refresh, so as you can see, all of the items are on Printify and from there, I will go to Etsy and upload my mockups, or I can bulk change titles on Printify, tags, etc. And as you can see here, this is what the design looks like on the shirt. So the print area is probably like this big. And then because my design was placed in the right place on my print area, it is on the right spot on the shirt that I want. As you can see, it's in a good spot. So I just thought I'd share this with you guys. It's a super easy way to upload your products to Printify. And then from there, you can go to Etsy and add your mockups, change bulk, change the titles, tags, etc. in your shop dashboard. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions that I might be able to answer about it in the comments down below or any other videos that you'd like to see on my channel.